So we decided to continue on on our bus trip into Dublin and give you some more interesting sights along the way. We're more into the town area now and out of the residential area. So you can see some of the unique houses and the beauty of it all. How about the harbor? Want to see the harbor? Right there. It was quite a walk earlier. Dawn and I walked it all the way down here from the castle. See those wonderful looking rain clouds up that way. But, yeah, nice houses, beautiful little areas up in there. We walked all the way down through there. As we're getting ready to go a little bit farther into town, not sure. We may go to the Book of Kells while we're in Dublin. There's a couple little beautiful shops that we want to see. There was a fishing village we were going to try to get to earlier. You know how it is. You have all these plans and things that you think that you have plenty of time to do. But with this being the first real day after travel, I was a little bit more tired this morning than I thought I was going to be. But it was still really good. Good night's sleep and off we were ready to go again. So let's see what we're going into. Bus stops are getting closer and closer together, so that tells me we're getting closer and closer to town. Oh, look at that purple. Look at that blue door. Oh, I love that. I love a blue door. Kind of would go with my blue nails. Do you like my blue nails? Hit blue and gold. Kind of pretty. Anyway, here we go. One more time in. A lady and her baby carriage. People walk a lot here and bike a lot of walking here's a neat looking church on our journey in had this amazing lemon pound cake today for lunch in one of these little shops it was really good now I haven't quite got the hang of the urine tea and coffee you know it's just not what i can handle it's a little strong for me good thing i brought my coffee with me in my coffee bags so i can just brew that freshly but the lemon pound cake earlier oh really really good Dawn had some kind of caramel and chocolate and pastry and I don't really know, but it was really good anyway. Oh, it looks like there's going to be an oncoming castle on up ahead. Glad we brought our raincoats. We were told by Amy and Jonathan Knight, who were just here in Ireland a couple months ago, that it rained quite a lot here. So to make sure that we brought raincoats and rain gear. Glad we listened. Because it rains, it rains hard for uh, maybe a good 15-20 minutes. Really heavy rains. And then it just dries up. We were thinking there's got to be a rainbow. The sky was so beautiful. See how dark it is over there? But now look. See how beautiful it is right there. So the one side of the window, it's absolutely beautiful blue skies. And then you look out of this window, and it's like, uh-oh, we are driving right into the rain. So I'm thinking, if it's raining and it's sunshiny, that should mean a rainbow, right? Well, I keep looking. I'm in Ireland, and it's a rainbow. But I haven't seen any pot of gold yet. So we'll see. Well, we're having a pretty good day. Lots of walking lots of laughter. Oh, we had lunch at the Pigeon House Cafe. Dawn ordered a chicken sandwich. Not too sure it was chicken at the Pigeon House Cafe. <laughs> Just saying. Anyway, I ordered a corned beef. It was really good. He says the flowers are pretty. Oh, yep. Flowers are very pretty. Glad I got that shot for you. Want you to see. Oh, look at this church. I 
that's a really cool church. Let me see if I can get a name of it. Nope. Can't get a name of it for you. Anyway, it's behind it. Can't see it, but looks really cool. Looks like we're almost into town. Okay. Yep. It is called. Oh, it was a Clonkarf Presbyterian Church. That's what it was called. Ooh, watch the trees there, Mr. Bus Driver. <laughs> Ouch. I guess he knows what he's doing. I really wanted to take the bus or a taxi into town. Don's doing really good with driving and all, but he wants to look at everything. So he's having a hard time looking and driving. So I kept saying, can we please just take the bus or a taxi? And he gave in because he's so amazing that way. This way he can look because he's very excited. Want to see how excited he is? Look. Like a kid in a candy shop. He is very excited. Just looking every which way. <laughs> oh, we must have stopped again. I wasn't paying attention. Sorry. sorry. It's a pedestrian bridge. It's a pedestrian bridge. Must be one of the main thoroughfares through. Okay, what am I seeing here? Lots of little kinds of shops. What? Oh, Kids Park. Sorry. Didn't get to show you the kids park. Missed it. Hope you're enjoying our little ride. If not, you can click off anytime. I'm really doing this more for my granddaughter Kylie, who is very intently to follow her nana everywhere she goes. It was easier to do this than FaceTime her all the time. This way I can just do it and upload it and she can watch it. And then you all can too, if you wanna. I guess we're into Dublin. We're just not into the city yet. The inner city. Because we're going into Abbey Road, I believe. That's what the bus driver said. And oh, there's a little creek with a lot of ducks. Something inside the seagulls. <laughs> he likes to make fun of me. Seagulls, ducks, pigeons, I don't know. They're waterfowl. Same thing. Just waterfowl. Let's just... Cats, dogs. Yeah, cats, dogs. See, they're all animals. So it's just kind of like waterfowl. Anyway, here we go. Hold on. Isn't it cool how they have bike lanes? That's because everybody goes and on their bikes around here. So they have walking lanes and bike lanes and bus lanes and yeah. So we get up tomorrow too and leave Dublin and head north to Belfast. It's a couple hours heading up Belfast so I'm really excited to see some of the countryside. The city's great now but I think the countryside Stopping at little shops, stopping at just little villages, meeting some people, and yeah, I think that'll be really interesting, getting to talk to the locals, but oh, look at that church. Yeah, I think that um, going up north to Belfast will be really interesting. If you don't know the history, right now we are in the southern end of Ireland, which is actually its own area. It's owned by Ireland, the Irish. Now when we go up north near Belfast, that is still English ruled. So they are still technically owned by England. So when we're up there, we have to use pounds in our money and down here we use euros. So I had to learn the difference in the money and the conversion. Nobody uses dollars here so we just left our dollars at home. I didn't even bring any, no sense. And converted everything and the best way to do when you're traveling out there is don't get your money um, done through the currency transactions. Just go to an ATM machine. Make sure you have your PIN number and that it's working correctly. And just get your money out of the ATM. 
First off, if you're getting money out of the ATM, you're pretty sure that the money is safe. One lady in the one shop was telling me to be very cautious of our the money because they're getting some counterfeits. I don't know how she thinks I'm going to be able to tell the difference. If it was American money, I could still do that. Foreign money, I don't know. I guess it's just the luck of the draw. We're doing mostly everything with credit cards and just pay it off at the end. But you still got to have some cash here and there. Like right now, getting on and off the bus, we had to have cash. We didn't know it. a little earlier today. We tried to get on. We didn't have quite enough coins. So we had to get back off the bus and go to a little store and get some more coins and then get back on another bus. It's just trial and error. When you're traveling, don't wig out over stuff. Just go with the flow. So tomorrow will look rather interesting when we get up to Belfast and the tick of Ireland and see, whoa, red light, see all the stuff that we see there. Hmm. Oh, Abby says, whoop, I don't know what that sign said. It was, it was really fast. We saw a McDonald's earlier. I think it's unique. McDonald's is everywhere. We didn't stop. Thought about stopping. Seeing what the burgers were like. I don't know if you've ever traveled. When you go different places, even though it says McDonald's, burgers are different. We've done that. Oh, this does come in to look like we're coming. Oh, look at this building. Oh, that says Conley Station. So that, that must be the train. Hmm. Okay. Good pizza. These are some middle bitty streets. See why I didn't want on to drive? So, whoop. Oh, sorry about that. I'm trying to hold the camera still for y'all. But if I use both hands to hold the camera, then I'm not holding the handrail and I'm falling over the seat. Very interesting. See the bikes? Oh my gosh, that's just so cool. But I guess if you live in town, biking is a good idea. This is Talbot Street. Talbot Street. What are we getting off of? Sorry, wrong clear to the end. Oh, we're going clear to the end. Abbey. Oh, we're going to Abbey Street. Okay. Look at this big pipe in the middle. You'd think there would be a flag on top of that. I don't see any flags. Yeah, I don't think I've seen an Irish flag since I've been here. I don't think I've seen an Irish flag since I've been here either. It's one thing I do say and love about our country. The American flag is everywhere. We are proud of our American flag. I'm glad for that. But I love traveling too. Yeah. We're 13 minutes into the video. Sorry it's taking so long to get into town. I was going to wait until I got to the very end to show you Abbey Street. Like I said, you can always click on and click back off. You don't have to follow me all the way. Lots of people in town. I say the town really lights up at night. We probably won't be here once it gets... Oh, look at that. Great coffee helps. Sorry, squirrel. <laughs> I just seen the word coffee. Let me see if I can zoom that in. Ooh, look at that sign. Great coffee helps. Yes, I would say it does. I love great coffee. But there's no Dunkin' here. What the world. There is no Dunkin'. I have not seen it. So good thing I brought some with me. Here we go, hold on. Little bit street. Yes. So yes, I had to learn kilometers when we got here, because that's what the car is. And the car is also in military time. So everything, oh, what did it answer? Um, yeah. The, um, car was in military time in kilometers so I am familiar 
Okay, everybody is kind of getting off the bus. Yep, I guess they're still staying on the bus. Yep. I don't think so. I don't know. No. No. This is Talbot Mall. See? Maybe everybody's just getting off because they're going to the mall. Isn't that kind of cool? Like the mall is inside a building. This is one of the big areas. It's not like malls like what we do. <laughs> but that's kind of like their malls. But if you've ever visited New York City, it's similar. Oh. Do you want to get off at the post, you said? You can't get off at the we're going to turn here. Oh, nope, we can't get off at the post. We're, we're turning. Sorry. Oh, look at these flowers. Look at this beautiful. Flowers on top of the buildings. No, it's starting to rain again, and you're probably having a hard time seeing. That's not like they're telling you where you're at. No, we have no idea where we're at. Oh, I hear a bell. I don't know what the I bell's for. Oh, it's him backing up. It's a bell. It's kind of a funny bell. It sounded more like a train tracks. It's a train. Oh, that's why I said it sounded like a train track. So there you go. It is a train. So now there's another way. To travel. I love trains. Oh, I wonder if we can find where that train goes. I want to get on the train and just take it. I don't care where it goes. Let's just get on it and ride it. You know how I am. I just want to just like anything. Oh, what, what, what? Oh, that's really interesting. <laughs> I'm not sure how they, those two are going to make that bend. But yeah, look at that. That's called tram track rather than ham track. Tram track. Hmm. Oh, see, I knew I heard a bell. Oh, here we go, we're turning, sorry. I knew I heard a bell. Yeah, this is all tracks. Oh, it is. Look at all these tracks up here. So, all these people are waiting for the. Can we get off here and get a coffee? I don't know where we are. I don't either. I'm going to ask. I'm going downstairs. Okay. He's going to go downstairs and ask. I don't know if I should go downstairs with him. He just leaves me up here on the top of the bus. That's how he does. But, oh, the bus just stopped. I think we're here, Bob. Oh, I think we're here. Okay, bye.